Today we are going to talk about transbronchial lung biopsy. Transbronchial lung biopsy is also known as bronchoscopic lung biopsy. It is one of the most important sampling procedure performed during the flexible bronchoscopy. And when you can do that, you obviate the need for an open lung biopsy. If you go into the history of transbronchial lung biopsy, you realize that till 1963, the biopsy of the lung was performed only by surgical means. But it was only in 1963 that Anderson performed first bronchoscopic lung biopsy, but it was not through flexible, it was through a rigid scope. The transbronchial lung biopsy through the fiber optic came through in 1934, which was done by Levin et al., who published their experience using flexible bronchoscopy. Obviously, compared with the surgical lung biopsy, transbronchial lung biopsy has lower morbidity and mortality. So, when you have to do a transbronchial lung biopsy, obviously, the first thing which you need to do is do a complete patient evaluation, which means that you need to have a good physical history, you need to have good examination, you need to have a chest x-ray, and you preferably need to have a CT scan of the chest. Obviously, before doing the procedure, as in any other procedure, you would discuss the implication of this test, the indication, the risk involved, and the limitation of the procedure. And you would tell the patient very clearly that not all procedures can be 100% diagnostic. And there may be a need that the patient may need to go further testing with further biopsy sampling in a different way. So what is the general guideline for detection and correction of coagulopathy, which is the most important thing when you do a transbronchial lung biopsy? You obviously try and find out whether there is any history.